my research program has been examining the uh, Atlantic bluefin tuna fishery in the Mediterranean. Uh, I've been looking at the transformation of this very famous, important, historic fishery uh, from a, a traditional uh, trap fishery to the modern uh, version, uh, the modern industrial capitalist uh, global uh, production of Atlantic bluefin tuna. Looking at this transformation and the impacts on uh, societies that have been uh, tied to the uh, traditional fishery for many, many centuries, uh, and also the ecological implications and ecological consequences of this, this transformation. The bluefin populations have been declining rapidly in the past few decades. The levels the, that the populations uh, are at right now are likely the, the lowest in history, in recorded history anyway, and so it's, it's been um, argued that uh, the, the collapse of the fishery is, is imminent. The Atlantic bluefin tuna has been uh, an important local resource or a, a, a foundational food source for Mediterranean civilizations dating back likely 10,000 years or so. Uh, and archaeological evidence has shown that um, the uh, bluefin tuna uh, fishing has been an activity that has occurred in this region uh, for, for many, um, uh, many millennia. We've seen a massive transformation in the way that uh, the bluefin tuna are captured the way and the way that they are consumed and distributed. They now be, have become a global product. Uh, most of the, uh, the, the bluefin tuna that are captured in the Mediterranean are shipped to Japan. This is uh, due to the uh, expanding, uh, growing, uh, escalating um, uh, market for sushi and sashimi that has been uh, 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 growing in, in, in Japan, but throughout the world. The modern methods of production have, have basically cut the uh, reproductive cycle of the, of, the, of the bluefin tuna. So not only are they over-harvesting and overfishing, but there's this process of, uh, of cutting them off before they reach their spawning areas. This has been related to, of course, this, this growing market for sushi and sashimi and the transformations in, in production systems. And my work uh, would argue that the traditional fishery is, is more than just a, a cultural relic, that we can look to this as a sustainable fishery. In, and, and, you know, in a period where sustainable development and sustainability are very common buzzwords and everyone's thinking about what new technology can be created to create to uh, address these problems of, of depletion of resources you know we can look to a sustainable fishery and a technology that's already existing uh, and try to understand what about uh, this technology was sustainable the implications uh, for policy would be you know a, a, a radical transformation in the way that fishery is managed um, with likely you know, a moratorium on industrial fishing in that region in order to deal with this uh, uh, pending collapse of the bluefin tuna. Fishery scientists are, uh, are saying that the collapse of the f fishery is very likely in, in the near future uh, unless something drastically is done about it. So this is uh, extremely important uh, on a social level and an ecological level.